See how that goes. control at work. That's the second, second pass. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today's video is going to focus on this right here at the end of this arrow tip. This is my new homemade disc chisel plow I got it last year and overall it works quite well for uh, field cultivation for food plotting and even farming I guess if you had a small farm however the center two discs as you could see these are different farms different clips here it really likes to clog up it's just a design flaw I assume but anyways today we're gonna take it into the shop and we're gonna fix this we're gonna put a uh, a dirt cleaner right in between these two center discs right here and I believe we're gonna cure it so let's have a little bit of fun get in the shop today and see how it goes All right I found this old uh, scrap metal in my scrap box and it looks like it's gonna do the job perfectly it just needs a little reshaping but it should sit in there just about like that <clears throat> go weld it up here cut the top off grind down a point a little bit better down there but this should work perfect these things are spinning up this way so it'll have just enough angle to peel that dirt right out of there Alright, so the next step is to cut it to length, but if you can look a little bit closer here, you can see this piece of steel is actually bent, which is one of the reasons I picked it. It's kind of bent. Um, the way I'm going to mount it, it's going to be bent in the right direction so that it can actually flex a little if a rock should hit it or if the clay should just get too clumpy. It should have a little bit of give in it and flex in it, so let's keep moving on. Let's see how she fits here. Just like that. Alright, I uh, hit it with a shot of rust oleum just to help slow down the rusting and we'll be welding here soon. Okay, it's uh, ready for welding. We'll see how it goes. I got just a smidgen of space between there. Um, we'll see. Hopefully the welding doesn't suck it left or right because once it's on, it's on. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks good. Just set 
that bottom in a little bit more. All right, not the prettiest of welds, um, but we, we have learned that they do hold because I yanked out that gigantic uh, mobile home and my homemade hitch held up and that was probably at least 15 tons. Can't believe it held, but this this only a two inch hitch. That's only a seven thousand pound receiver. Yeah, I know. So this will definitely hold. Gotta give a shout out to Clarkster for uh, keeping on me on this one. Otherwise, I may not have done it. But this thing, I ordered a, a two a two foot cylinder. Uh, three a thirty six inch was a little bit too long because that's seven feet all the way. So. We're going to mount it up, up here, the two foot cylinder, and we'll have a little piece of cable on the end because that, uh, that needs to float. So now it will be hydraulic soon, all from the cab. I won't have to do anything. Just drop it, hit that hydraulic uh, SCV and go. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> 